Hey everyone, Rat Benatar here from the All Rats team, part of the Third Web community. This video will demonstrate how to organize and set up your media and metadata for your NFTs so that you can upload them all in one action using Third Web's batch upload feature. So if you're either looking to launch multiple NFTs as part of a collection, or you want to know how to organize your metadata so that it displays properly on places like OpenSea and Coinbase NFT, then you need to watch this video to the end. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with a friend who may enjoy it. So if you've ever tried to launch an NFT of your own, one of the popular places you may have tried to do this is on OpenSea, the world's largest NFT marketplace. There are pros and cons to doing it this way, but chief among the cons is that you can only add one NFT at a time, and this is problematic for a few reasons. It's time consuming, it's extremely costly and inefficient when it comes to gas fees, and there's no mechanism for preparing things ahead of time on a CSV or JSON file to help ensure consistency across all pieces in a given collection. Among all of the other many reasons that you should always strive to have your NFTs minted on their own contract, using Third Web to launch your NFT collection allows you to avoid all of those concerns thanks to the batch upload feature. Now, this tutorial will assume that you already have your art assets created for your project, but in case you're not there yet, we will leave a link in the description to a Twitter thread of ours where we highlight six different tools that you can use to help you generate your art and its associated metadata. Whether you've created an NFT drop or an addition drop, you should start your batch upload process by making sure that you either have a CSV file or a JSON file alongside of your art assets. This file should contain all of the metadata associated with your artwork, such as each NFT's name, description, and any traits associated with it. It's also crucial that the file is formatted correctly, as this is what will dictate how your NFT collection will display in marketplaces like OpenSea. If you want to add additional traits to define things like each NFT's background, hat, shirt, and so on, simply add them as their own columns on your spreadsheet like you see here on the screen. The rarity of each item will be automatically calculated for you too by marketplaces like OpenSea, so you don't need to worry about defining that ahead of time. You can grab an example file here and edit it to include your own content. And thanks to the capabilities of the batch upload feature, I can use this whether I'm launching a collection of 5, 100, 1000, or even 10,000 NFTs in my collection. Now that my CSV is ready to go, I'm just going to pop it into the same working folder that I have with all of my art assets. Note that my assets are named sequentially, as this is the final requirement to ensure a proper match between the art and the metadata of my upload. Before I begin the upload process, I can even review the contents here inside of Third Web to ensure that I've set up my metadata correctly. This also ensures that it will display properly in places like OpenSea. The beauty of this process is that it contains the upload to one single transaction, meaning that it's not only faster to do it this way, but exponentially cheaper as well. Finally, I wanted to note that if you are uploading thousands of images, it may take a few minutes to fully complete the process. This is because ThirdWeb doesn't just host your media files on our own centralized servers. Each media file automatically gets pinned to IPFS for you at no extra cost, in order to ensure its stability and availability on chain for your audience. And that's all there is to it. Now we think that this is particularly helpful for anybody looking to launch a full collection of NFTs and for anybody who enjoys saving time and money. If you have any questions about the content or if you've uploaded something of your own recently, please share it with us down below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.